natural selection. So we talked a little bit about natural selection when we uh, looked at Darwin. Just an interesting fact for you, dinosaurs roamed the earth for 160 million years, but human beings, people like us, have only been on earth for the last 100,000 years. So we've been on earth for just a blink of an eye compared to all of geologic time. So let's review. What did Darwin's travels reveal? Okay, the biggest thing is that they revealed the diversity of living species was far greater than anyone had previously known. And this led Darwin to want to explain how this diversity came to be. And that helped him to develop the idea of natural selection and ultimately the theory of evolution. Now this picture here is just showing you a small number of the different types of beetles that exist. So natural selection is the idea that the traits that help an organism survive in a particular environment are selected in natural selection. That doesn't mean that the organism chooses to have better traits. It's just for whatever reason, um, something about that organism makes it more likely to survive. And the key here, once they survive, more likely to find a mate and reproduce offspring. In class, we'll look closely at the example of the peppered moth and industrial melanism. But right now, this is just looking at beetles. Okay, so many of these beetles are green, some of them are brown. Uh, the birds like the green beetles, so they keep eating them. Over time, more and more of those green beetles are eaten, the brown ones are still alive. So it's starting to look like perhaps being not green is an advantage. And lo and behold, after multiple generations, the green beetles have all been selected against. They were eaten by the birds, and the brown beetles have flourished because they survived, so they were able to reproduce offspring. So over time, natural selection results in changes in the inherited characteristics of a population. And these changes increase the species fitness. That doesn't mean that they're muscular or they work out or that they're the biggest. No, fitness specifically is referring to their survival rate. So these changes increase their rate of survival. It's important to understand that natural selection is not changing an individual organism. Okay, a beaver can't be out in the woods going, geez, I wish I had a chainsaw. Oh, look, I have a chainsaw now. That's not how it works. There's a number of factors that affect natural selection. Okay? They are overproduction. Uh, most species produce far more offspring than they can, than could possibly survive, right? Lizards do that, for example, mice do that, rabbits. Competition. Food and other resources are limited, so offspring compete to survive. Variation, which is referring to differences between individuals of the same species, right? Different plants have different traits, different kittens have different traits. Uh, and selection. Some variations make certain individuals better adapted to their environment. Those that reproduce pass on the allele, think back to genetics, those that reproduce pass on the allele for that helpful trait. And they pass it on to their offspring. So, in order for natural selection to occur, you have to have a lot of offspring, so overproduction. Okay, there needs to be some sort of competition for resources. You need some genetic variation, and then selection. So some of those variations have resulted in individuals being better adapted to their environment. So descent with modification is looking at this idea that each living species has descended with changes from other species over time. So um, I think by now many of you have heard that dinosaurs and birds are related. Okay, and so over time, as these changes built up, we ended up with a new species, right? Going from dinosaur um, to lizard like birds or reptile like birds and ultimately the birds that we see today. So in summary, Darwin's theory, organisms differ, variation is inherited. And we know that. Okay? Organisms produce more offspring than survive. Organisms compete for resources. Organisms with advantages survive to pass those advantages on to their children. And species that are alive today are descended with modifications from common ancestors.